Electricity is the essential force that powers modern society, from lighting our homes to enabling work, entertainment, and communication. A century ago, it was a luxury. Today, it's vital for the safety and well-being of billions. Despite its importance, electricity remains elusive. We can't see it, touch it, or fully understand its origins. The journey of electricity, from generation to consumption, is complex, involving energy conversions and various technologies. This script delves into how electricity is generated, the technology behind power plants, and how the power grid ensures reliable electricity delivery, highlighting the crucial role it plays in daily life. From generation to consumption. At the very beginning of electricity's journey is its generation. Power generation is the first step in turning various forms of energy into electrical power, which is then transported through an intricate grid system that delivers energy to homes, businesses, factories, and infrastructure. This process is far from simple, and understanding it requires looking into the nature of energy itself. The power grid is what ensures that electricity is delivered in real time. Energy is not stored in large quantities. It's generated, transmitted, and used instantaneously. Electricity travels at nearly the speed of light, and with current storage capacities being negligible, the timing of its generation and consumption must be perfectly synchronized. So when you flip a switch, the electricity powering your device could have been created just milliseconds ago possibly from a solar panel, a nuclear reactor, or even a coal-burning power plant. How we convert energy into electricity. The first rule of electricity generation is that energy is never created out of thin air. All electricity begins as some other form of energy, and it is converted into electrical energy through different processes. Thermodynamics, the study of heat and energy, governs how electricity is generated. In most cases, the energy that is converted into electricity comes from heat. The heat comes from various sources, and the process of converting it to electricity is key to understanding how power plants operate. One of the most common forms of power generation is the thermal power plant, which uses heat to generate steam. In thermal power stations, fossil fuels such as coal, oil, and natural gas are burned to create high-pressure steam. This steam then drives a turbine connected to a generator, converting the thermal energy into mechanical energy, which is then converted into electrical energy by the generator. This method of power generation is widely used across the world. However, burning fossil fuels to generate electricity comes with significant drawbacks. The burning of fossil fuels releases large quantities of carbon dioxide (CO2), a greenhouse gas that contributes to global warming and climate change. In fact, electricity generation is one of the largest sources of global CO2 emissions, responsible for about a third of the total emissions worldwide, as the world faces the increasingly urgent need to address climate change. The focus has shifted toward finding cleaner, more sustainable alternatives to fossil fuel-powered plants, shifting towards clean power. Fortunately, there are several alternative methods of generating electricity that don't rely on fossil fuels. One of the most well-known sources is nuclear power, which generates heat through nuclear fission, the splitting of atomic nuclei. In a nuclear reactor, the heat generated from the fission of uranium or other radioactive materials is used to produce steam, which powers a turbine and generates electricity. Nuclear power is a highly efficient and low-carbon method of generating electricity, although it comes with its own set of challenges, such as the disposal of radioactive waste and the potential for accidents. Another alternative energy source is geothermal power, which harnesses the heat stored within the Earth's crust. This heat is accessed through geothermal wells, where water is pumped deep into the Earth to become steam, which then powers a turbine. Geothermal power is a renewable energy source that can provide a steady and reliable supply of electricity, especially in regions with significant geothermal activity, such as Iceland and parts of the United States. Solar thermal power is another promising solution, where large arrays of mirrors concentrate sunlight onto a central receiver, heating a fluid that is then used to produce steam for power generation. 
While solar power is abundant, its variability due to weather conditions and the need for direct sunlight make it less reliable than other sources. However, the rapid decline in solar technology costs has made it an increasingly viable option for both residential and industrial scale electricity generation. The role of steam and turbines in power generation. Once heat is generated in any form, whether from burning fossil fuels, nuclear fission, geothermal energy, or solar thermal systems, the next step is to convert this thermal energy into mechanical energy. This is accomplished by directing the steam through a turbine. The turbine's spinning motion generates mechanical power, which is transferred to a generator that produces electrical energy. Most power plants use a steam turbine, which consists of blades connected to a shaft. As steam passes through the blades, it causes the turbine to rotate, turning the mechanical energy into electrical energy. This process is the same across nearly all thermal power plants, whether they are fueled by fossil fuels, nuclear energy, or solar thermal energy. The importance of three-phase power. While thermal power stations are the most common, the electricity they generate must be transmitted through a power grid to reach homes and businesses. Most power grids today use a system known as three-phase alternating current, AC. In this system, electricity is divided into three separate phases, which are offset by 120 degrees from each other. This provides a continuous flow of electricity without any interruptions or dips, ensuring a smooth, stable supply of power. Three-phase power has many advantages over single-phase power. It allows for more efficient transmission of electricity over long distances, and provides more power with fewer wires. The three-phase system is also inherently more stable, making it ideal for use in industrial and commercial settings. Most of the world's power plants, including those that use steam turbines, rely on this three-phase system to distribute electricity, wind and solar. Wind and solar energy have become critical components of the global push toward renewable energy. Wind turbines harness the power of the wind to generate electricity, and in recent years, the efficiency of these turbines has greatly improved, making wind power one of the fastest growing sources of electricity worldwide. Wind farms are now common in many countries, providing clean, renewable energy without the harmful byproducts of fossil fuels. Solar energy, specifically solar photovoltaic PV systems, has also seen explosive growth in recent years. Solar PV cells convert sunlight directly into electricity, and their efficiency has increased significantly, making it more affordable for homeowners and businesses to install solar panels. Large-scale solar farms are also emerging in sunny regions, providing vast amounts of renewable electricity to the grid. However, both wind and solar energy come with limitations. Solar energy can only be generated during daylight hours, and wind energy is dependent on weather conditions. These renewable sources are intermittent and don't provide the same level of inertia to the grid as traditional power plants. Inertia is crucial because it helps maintain the stability and reliability of the electricity grid during faults or disturbances. Inertia and load following in the power grid. In the context of power generation, inertia refers to the resistance to changes in the speed of rotating generators. The more inertia in the system, the more stable the grid is, and the less likely it is to experience frequency fluctuations. This is essential for maintaining a reliable power supply, especially when there are sudden changes in demand or unexpected outages. Wind and solar energy sources, however, lack this inertia. This creates challenges for grid operators, who must constantly adjust the supply of electricity to match demand. This process is called load following. It ensures that there is always enough power on the grid to meet the needs of consumers, even as demand fluctuates throughout the day. To keep the grid stable, operators use spinning reserves, which are extra generators that can be brought online quickly to compensate for any shortfalls in power generation. These reserves are essential for maintaining grid stability during times of high demand or unexpected disruptions. Electricity generation is a complex and dynamic process that involves the conversion of various types of energy into electrical power. 
whether it's from burning fossil fuels, harnessing the power of the wind, or using the heat stored within the Earth, all forms of energy generation rely on the principles of thermodynamics to create electricity. As the world moves toward a more sustainable energy future, the integration of renewable sources like wind and solar power will continue to play a vital role. However, the challenges of intermittency and grid stability must be addressed to ensure a reliable power supply. Ultimately, understanding how our electricity is generated and distributed is essential for navigating the challenges of the future. As the global energy transition continues, we must remain informed and engaged, recognizing the importance of both traditional and renewable sources of power.